Hi everybody, uh, we're back in Liverpool, back at Sefton Park, and this time we've caught up with uh, Harry Foster, the developer we missed last time because he was on the holiday. We can see that the development's really um, moved on. We've also got Mike Dunning, who uh, him and his wife Christine, who's just gone through the uh, window there, um, they're our oldest clients, uh, most respected. They've been with us nearly 10 years now and bought quite a few properties and they're just having a look around to see if this is something that's going to interest them. Um, but so, on, on the last video, we see that um, a lot of work had uh, done quite a lot. It's really moved on since the last time I was coming in the last, uh, uh, the last three weeks. So when do you expect the site to be completed? Well, completion will definitely be done by mid-June as a possibility, um, end of May. But mid-June you know, should, should be the final thing, really. Um, I mean, if you look at the place, we've started top to bottom, put a new roof on. Um, very, very expensive job, but everything in the place, we've tried to keep a lot of the features here, because um, the place is about 140 years old, um, and apart from the basement which we've made ourselves, they are the original rooms. Mm -hmm. And I mean the view is absolutely fantastic, if we have a look straight across we can also see Park. there's lots of festivals that go on here in the summer, there's a the food festivals and... There is, yeah, and what you'll find is, is this part here of Sefton Park, that's where all the festivals are. There's about 12 events a year. Um, they have Jamaica Day, you know, which is fantastic. They have two food festivals a year. There's lots of uh, bands and stuff like this. Um, and it's nice, I mean, you can actually look out your window and watch it if you want. You know, or you, you can join in with it. A little bit further down the road, you've got Lark Lane. Now, Lark Lane is the most popular road in Liverpool, full of restaurants, bars. Quirky Cafe is absolutely fantastic. That's busy all day, it's busy all night. Very popular. And you've set the rent at a very reasonable um, figure to attract obviously tenants, yep. but also it's enabled uh, investors to get a good return, 8% net. Yep. So how did you manage to balance that out? Um, we basically just haven't been greedy really. Um, we've set our stall on, on the price we want for a studio. We've got to make sure that any investors come away with 8%. So, selling price to to rent. If you look at, for instance, town, people are paying £160, £170 a week for the studio in town. You know, and these are coming out £30, £40 cheaper per week. And, you, yeah, and you're including the uh, bills in there, aren't you? All bills, electricity, hardwired uh, internet, gas, water. Once, once it's the student pays the rent, that's it, there's not lots to pay out. That's fantastic. And you've added quite a few little extra features, I think we're doing, is it a bike stand? Um, and also, is it the first 15 in investors get the opportunity to buy their own car parking space to go alongside their, yeah, we've their got unit? 15 car parking spaces, bike shed will be around the back, the gates will be electric gates, and we've got a separate passageway coming in um, on the inside the building. So that'll be the walkway into the building. And the, the electric gate has just been anybody with a car, they'll be on a fob. And you're talking about students renting it, but I believe the managing uh, letter company is saying that there are a lot of inquiries from young professionals as well. Mainly, the... yeah, mainly young professors at the moment who have uh, shown the biggest interest. But at the same time, you know, your students don't really sign up till July. Um, but there's a massive interest from young professionals. Because if, if you look at the place, you won't get many places like this in Sefton Park. A lot of them are either flats, you know, which are 250 grand a piece, um, or private houses. And this is the only student accommodation actually on the park. Like people say the student accommodation on the park, but it's actually on the road, which is the back of the park. But this is sitting on the park. Yeah. It's a fantastic place. If you're here at the daytime, you just see people jogging. You've got a fantastic boat lake in the middle. Nice little cafes in the middle. So, you know, the place is beautiful. You could be sitting in New York. Mm -hmm. And you're providing that. Uh, yeah, well, I think, wasn't it the person who designed Central Park actually designed Sefton Park? Birkenhead Park, Sefton Park. 
Chateau Blanc. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, I think when we saw the uh, the suite that you've done, you saw the furniture package you're actually providing that, aren't you? Free yep. of charge to the uh, investor, and obviously, the person renting gets all of that. And there's a television stand up there for them to put a television on, and all the uh, they get their wardrobe, they get um, the settee, bed, etc. So they don't actually need anything. When they come no, everything's it. fully furnished, you know, down to your cups and saucers, your knives and forks. So, there's nothing for them to come in and buy. It, it's all sitting there for them. Every room will be carpeted, all the hallways are carpeted. Um, so, you know, complete luxury really for student accommodation. It really is. Well, let's thank you. Thank you to give such no a chance to sell it. That's fantastic.